A while ago we completed the seven part screencast series on this channel called Mini Search Engine in Python. If you have not had a chance to watch those screencasts, you can easily find and watch them on this channel before watching uh, this screencast to get some background if you want. In this screencast uh, we will uh, turn that Python Mini Search Engine into a three tier web application. You can also, to get some background, uh, go and uh, check the corresponding uh, screencast descriptions uh, to get the source code and uh, download it and, and run it uh, if you want. Let's go through the demo run of our three tier app, web app, before diving into the source code. Uh, so we're gonna um, uh, have the first tier uh, as a couple of Perl scripts, the second tier will be the Python CGI HTTP server, which we uh, now started. And uh, the back tier, or the third tier, will be our mini search engine uh, server uh, that uh, we uh, implemented in Python in that previous uh, screencast series. So, in other words, the objective of this project is to put the CGI interface to our mini search uh, engine uh, written in uh, Python. So the flow of control in this application will be as follows. The client directs his or her web browser to a URL uh, that generates a submit reset CGI uh, get form for submitted text uh, queries to the mini search engine server. The Python CGI HTTP server runs the script and generates uh, this form. The client enters the text query, submits it. Another pro action script associated with the generated form is run by the CGI HTTP server. Um, the script opens a socket to a forking mini, uh, that forking mini search engine server, submits the client's query, uh, reads back the list of retrieved documents and the corresponding match scores, and displays them in an HTML table, as you can see here uh, in the client's uh, browser. Uh, so the name of the document is on the left and the corresponding match score on, on the right. So this is our uh, query, uh, stars astronomy. So if we wanted to um, be more sophisticated, we could actually generate links uh, so that when the user clicks on the link um, at the name of the document, uh, the actual text of the document is displayed in the URL. So let's enter another query, bison flowers. And here is another uh, set of retrieved documents and the corresponding scores. So the text collection, where is the document, which document collection do we use um, in this demo? Uh, it's actually it actually resides in the same directory where the source code for the um, uh, mini search engine uh, backend server resides. So let's let's go there and uh, the, the, the text collection is available online. You can download the archive and uh, put it in your uh, file and then run the crawler um, which will index um, each and every .txt document uh, in that archive. So there's a directory called texts and uh, it has several subdirectories, astronomy and biology and so forth. So when you run the crawler before you actually fire the uh, fire up the backend server, uh, you know, it will create the index table of all the .txt files in that collection. Okay, well let's uh, let's go and dive into the source code and take a look at um, several um, source code components. Uh, so this is the gen uh, underscore msc underscore submit underscore form dot pl, which is a Perl script that generates that uh, submit reset get form um, um, that allows the uh, client to submit text queries. So we print the header. We use CGI dot pm module as we have been uh, in several uh, previous. Uh, screencasts dedicated to uh, CGI scripting and uh, Perl and Python uh, start HTML. And this is the actual form, and you can see that the, we associate the action Perl script process underscore msc underscore query dot pl uh, with this uh, with this form. So that's the Perl script that runs, and we'll take a look at it uh, momentarily. It, the, the Perl script runs when the user submits the query, and then um, there are two standard submit buttons or input types, uh, so-called input types, CGI input types, submit and reset. Let's close the form and uh, print the end HTML. And at the end of the script we uh, run this subroutine, uh, gen msc submit form, actually gets to generate and this is uh, how you would um, reference that form in the URL. 
let's go and take a look at process MSC submit form. This is the action script that gets to run um, after the user submits. Uh, so this is the local host, um, the port number. Uh, next, uh, there are two scalers, border and cell space spacing that parameterize the uh, HTML table. Display. Disable the buffering for efficiency. Um, process MSC query, uh, uh, MSC query subroutine. We get the query string, then we split it on the ampersand because it's a, a string consisting of name uh, equal value pairs. Um, then we generate essentially another um, uh, get form uh, and associate the same process MSC query dot pl with it, uh, so that the user keep on uh, submitting queries after the user. Um, sees the list of retrieved uh, documents. Alright, submit and reset buttons. Now we close the form, uh, print to breaks, and uh, so process name value pairs is the real workhorse um, that does the, the processing. So each name value pair is split on the equal sign. And then uh, we open um, the so a socket to the uh, backend search engine, the server, call handle the query, and close the socket. So and handle the query actually gets the results. This is how we open the socket to the backend server. Right? If we cannot open the socket, we just die we, with a diagnostic uh, error message. Close the socket and uh, handle the query, um, well we process the query, essentially replace uh, in the query uh, the pluses uh, put in by the CGI protocol with spaces uh, and um, uh, then we uh, get the document list uh, from the server and uh, print the document list. Uh, print the document list actually generates the HTML uh, table. And this is where uh, we do the regular expression um, uh, matching and substitution in Perl substitute, um, I will replace the plus signs with spaces in the uh, query string received from the get form and uh, get the document list um, uh, well, we uh, get the document list um, uh, from the from the server uh, well from the socket opened to the server and print document list generates uh, the, that a HTML table uh, two columns, document and match score. Uh, then uh, we split each document, uh, docs card pairs uh, on the uh, semicolon because each uh, doc equals score pair is separated um, from the uh, rest of the pairs by a semicolon and uh, uh, each doc score pair is um, uh, it, it gets to be a separate row in the table. And this is the print statement that actually uh, prints the uh, generates the HTML do, uh, uh, row, and then we close the table and print the break at the end. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so this is the Perl uh, part. Let's go and take a look at the back end um, uh, mini search engine uh, server. Um, so this is the file that actually starts the server uh, going. Uh, Porter, Text Retriever, uh, all of these um, uh, source uh, modules um, we talked about uh, in the mini search engine series. Uh, the only new file is PI MSC Server, the last one. Let's go and take a look at it uh, because that's actually um, where Forking Server is implemented. It sits on top of the mini search engine uh, retriever. So it's a forking server. Uh, if you and then there's a, b a bunch of variable uh, variables. Um, go and take a look at that uh, mini search engine series uh, if you want to understand what they mean. And this is the retriever ob text retriever object that we um, create and uh, the um, our request handler, the request handler um, uh, object is uh, uh, constructed uh, for every client uh, uh, connection request to handle uh, every client request. And uh, um, this is we call the process underscore underscore process data uh, that um, um, in turn uh, calls um, the CGI match query 
a method um, of the text retriever object. Okay, so this is where we create the forking server, and uh, we use the uh, server serve underscore forever method to uh, launch the server. And it's a forking server, so the retriever object is constructed for every new retriever object is constructed for every uh, request, um, uh, for every client request. Okay, this is the text retriever class, which is essentially the same as the text retriever class um, uh, in the mini search engine uh, uh, project, except that we implemented this method, CGI match query method, um, and it's called the underscore underscore CGI format results. Um, so calls the match query that we implemented before, uh, except that uh, it goes through the file names and scores and uh, uh, puts them into one long string um, of uh, file name equals score semicolon pairs. Right, so file file name equals score um, a pair separated from the other pairs by uh, by a semicolon.